Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you my fragrance purchases for like two months. Uh, yeah, it's it was from the beginning of January till the end of February. So roughly it's like every 10 days I have bought a fragrance. Well, I didn't buy a fragrance every 10 days. I bought Three of them I bought on um, the same uh, shopping spree and then the other four, like, when I felt like I'm gonna buy a fragrance. So, uh, it's not gonna be a um, review of the fragrance uh, per se. If you need a review of any of these fragrances, please let me know. I'm gonna make a dedicated video on the fragrance. Um, by the way, one of the fragrances, you have already seen it, I have already shown to you. Um, it was probably first, second day that I have got this fragrance, so I decided to make a video around the fragrance. So I'm gonna start with that one, and this is the Roger and Galet. Um, this is Eau de Cologne, and it also had um, a soap, um, a bar of soap with it. I, it's still on my desk, I mean, I didn't get it, but it's still on my desk, it's still unpacked. and. Still, whenever I come in the room, the smell of this fragrance, but like in the soap form, is just so potent. And I'm actually considering uh, to 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 put it in my closet, or where I keep my clothes. But I was like, yeah, I have to put it on the desk for some time, so it would like evaporate as much as possible, because I don't want my my clothes to to smell like this fragrance all all the time. So basically, this is the Eau de Cologne, and it's very good, it's very fresh, some people say it's masculine, but for me it's pure unisex, and I love it, I just... It's... Uh, the, the composition, the nose of this fragrance is different um, from the composition of uh, Giovanni Maria Farina. Um, that this one was inspired by that, but by that one. So uh, the original uh, Giovanni Maria Farina Cologne it had uh, seven notes. Um, that's why they are called notes because they were called uh, because we have seven musical notes. So every single uh, fragrance note was called a note because of the seven musical notes. But uh, this one it has only three notes and. I have to say that it's fairly masculine, it seems like fairly masculine. It has petted grain, rosemary and lavender only. But for me it's beautiful, unisex, refreshing, nice, zesty, I love it. So um, the second one, the second one is like an oldie but goodie and I it's actually the second fragrance that I own from this line. This is the classic because it's you and as you can see I have already yeah, I'm using it. I'm using it well because I like it. Uh, some people say it's in, in, uh, not complicated, it's not uh, sophisticated enough. In my opinion, it's a beautiful fragrance. It has some notes of um, some notes of lemon, neroli, rose, vanilla musk, and amberwood and raspberry. So this is for me a beautiful, fruity, and a little bit of musk. A kind of scent every day appropriate very nice I have actually read the reviews on this fragrance and I was shocked by how many people say it's so sweet it's glowingly sweet it's horrible it's so so sweet I don't find it sweet I don't find it cloying I don't find it horrible for me it's a beautiful nice raspberry fragrance raspberry a bit musky fragrance very nice very like pleasant, a, cr a crowd pleaser, this fragrance. And, and by the way, I do own another version of this one that uh, that is like, because it's you, but I have the version that is that says freeze on the bottle. So, uh, so basically the freeze version, it has cherry. So it's a little bit like cherry um, rich uh, cocktail nice fragrance as well so next one the next one is cheapy is it cheapy and so many people have this kind of polarizing ideas about this fragrance because some people say it's horrible some people say it's cheap and it smells cheap 
some people say it's it's good for the money it's good i say that for the money it's good and this is the second fragrance from this same brand um that i have so it's adidas it's adidas and i have this fruity rhythm i do own another one it has this kind of violet cup on it so this one uh, it has quite an interesting set of notes it has um raspberry black currant uh, cyclamen freesia musk so this for me is a very nice very pleasant again everyday fragrance everything that i've told about this one about the fragrance from um Armani I can say about this one I mean they are not comparable uh, yeah they do have raspberry note but they are not the same but nonetheless this one is very nice it's very pleasant it's like everyday appropriate it's like you can go you can you, you, you can go to study with this fragrance you can go uh, do some shopping grocery shopping whatever uh, day out night out with your friends it's good this is good it reminds me of like the beginning of 2000s where the um fragrances like escada fragrances were like uh, very popular well they are still popular right because escada still does this kind of uh, limited editions uh, seasonal fragrances so that one reminds me of the seasonal fragrances from escada it's it's not it doesn't smell cheap well it doesn't smell expensive it doesn't smell like i don't know i don't know baby cat it doesn't smell sophisticated as the next fragrance that i'm going to show you but this one actually it doesn't smell bad and i kind of enjoy this kind of scent profile uh, fairly like inexpensive a uh, nice pleasant fragrances that if i have to go um just across the street and get some food i don't need my best and my wildest fragrance i can grab this one make some spritz and i'm i'm all good to go so the next one the next one is a beautiful fragrance that i have been eyeing for quite a long time and i was like it was like on and off with this fragrance i have owned a couple of samples I have sprayed like every single time when I was in the store and there was nothing in particular, nothing interesting, nothing new. I would spray this fragrance on me so that just I would understand if I want it or not. The problem, well not the problem, but my kind of thing that I was thinking if this fragrance is okay for me or not is the freshness of this fragrance and it's like watery notes of this fragrance so i'm talking about a uh, fragrance by hermes and this is um so jardin après la mousson it's nice this is a nice fragrance and the thing with this fragrance is that it's fresh it's like this ozonic fresh it, like uh, the ozonic notes are not included in this in this well at least they're not on fragrantica but you can see this kind of, you can feel this freshness, like, a, I don't know, like a concrete jungle uh, after the rain and this rain is evaporating, you have this kind of typical smell. So this one smells a little bit like it. So um, I was I was wondering, will I be in love with this fragrance? Because um, the, when the fragrance is so fresh, this fragrance uh, freshness this fragrances um watery notes they can actually induce headache well it did happen to me a couple of times so i was like well what's the point of getting a fragrance that i won't be able to to wear so i was spraying it and spraying it and trying it so i finally got it and i haven't regretted it uh once it's a good fragrance so it has actually the notes of um are you gonna be surprised by the notes uh, ginger ginger flower uh, cardamom pepper coriander water notes citruses vetiver floral notes and white ginger lily so why would you be surprised by this uh, is that how many uh 
how many spices this uh, fragrance has inside so and 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 although it has quite a lot of spices it doesn't seem like a spicy like your typical spicy fragrance like because we know that spiciness uh, gives warmth to the fragrance this one doesn't have this warmth this fragrance has freshness this fragrance is unisex this fragrance is re really 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 um a day um after the rain it's like it's so so good it's so so good and also it has this uh, lily so lilies also can be headache inducing so for me this is a fragrance that i love now i love it and i'm using it but you do really have to be quite careful with this one uh, they have in this same line they have another fragrances that are more like blind by safe this one isn't that safe um and obviously the, the latest one the, the one well not the latest one it came like last year or, or this year i don't remember yeah well, obviously last year 2023 and so it was this jardin au Souterre, and this one it has it has a pistachio note in it and i i just can't with this fragrance it's so stinky for me it's a stinky fragrance so yeah uh next three fragrances are actually the same brand and they actually have same size even one fragrance isn't technically purchased because one fragrance was given as a gift to was purchased but i i could choose what i'm getting as a gift so and i'm gonna just share my thoughts and i'm gonna tell tell you more about these fragrances so these are the all three fragrances are from atelier cologne and um they come in this kind of leather leather sleeves and i have here orange sanguine um pamelo paradis this is the pamelo pa paradis hold on i'm gonna check yes this is the pomelope paradis and this is or orange sanguine and this is tuberose rare tuberose i don't know i'm gonna check now i'm sorry i don't remember it's a tuberose fragrance in that kind of um bottle that is kind of different from all other bottles i'm gonna open it up and tell you so um i have um told you several times that I have nothing against um, Atelier Cologne. In fact, I do own some Atelier Cologne fragrances. So this is the fragrance that uh, looks like that. And this is the Eclat de Tuberose. So, and this is Eau de Parfum. So um, I have nothing against um, Atelier Cologne. In fact, I do love these fragrances. And in fact, I do own fragrances by Atelier Cologne, and I'm I'm very fond of these fragrances, to be honest. But the the thing with these fragrances is that I am sure uh, that they just they just not worth the price because on me for some reason on me these fragrances they just don't last. They just don't last, and they have quite a hefty price tag. So the only reason I would get these fragrances is when I can actually find these fragrances at a discount. And in fact, all of my Atelier Cologne fragrances I have got at a discount, which I'm I'm happy about, because in my opinion, let's let's take this fragrance. Let's take um, the fragrance that is Pamelo Paradis, and the, it's it's very very nice fragrance actually. I used to own um, four meal bottles of Pomelo Paradis of uh, this one that is Orange Sanguine, and also of other two, um, and I love them. I really really did love them. So the Pomelo Paradis has pink grape pink grapefruit, uh, Calabrian um, uh, mandarin, black currant, orange blossom, mint, Bulgarian rose, vetiver, amber and iris. So this is quite a long and beautiful uh, note collection for this fragrance. In my opinion, the Pomelo Paradis, it does smell like a grapefruit but that's it i don't feel iris i don't feel amber 
I don't feel vetiver, Bulgarian rose and mint. I don't feel those notes. It's like my for my nose, this fragrance is almost like a mono fragrance of uh, of a pomelo or a grapefruit. Pomelo grapefruit, a little bit of orange, this kind of scent. Very beautiful, very juicy, very mm, crisp and fresh very yummy because this one it's it's like so so realistic and beautiful but unfortunately for me well this fragrance doesn't last long i get maybe an hour of wear from this fragrance which is good if you get it on a discount like i did the 30 ml bottle after all the discounts and everything i have paid uh, 32 euros for this bottle which is actually good. This is an excellent price because the full price of this bottle is like, I want to say 70. So, and I got it for 30 with a little bit more than 30, like 32, but still it's an excellent price. And in, and uh, I have actually got this um, sleeve. It's made of leather and um as far as i can remember and i'm gonna just show you the box of this fragrance so the box is like that the box is blue and i am sure that the fragrances that i have and i have four fragrances from atelier cologne the full size i have three small size and yeah i do have three smaller size and one 100 mil size and they came in white uh, boxes and also when you open up here you don't have a code anymore because in the bottles that I used to have when I would open up a bottle uh, you would find a code a discount code and you would go on their official website that, uh, everything that I've got I've got or from the official website or from the Stockman store in Finland so basically, uh, you would uh, just put in uh, the code and they would give you quite a good discount on the fragrance. And uh, the, the codes were, you could actually sum them up. So I remember I have got my Vetiver Fatal from the website and I have got it for like, I want to say 25 euros, something like that. So they actually gave me a good, good, good discount. So nowadays you don't have a discount, but you have this sleeve because all my fragrances, they came without a sleeve. I actually have four fragrances, two came uh, without the sleeve and other two, they came without the sleeve, but the sleeve was kind of gift with purchase. Uh, and now I have found a fragrance like that in a sleeve in a box. So they uh, are offering you the sleeve, but they are taking out the discount. And you, uh, you can actually engrave this sleeve in a store if you feel like it. So kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy with the fragrance. I'm happy with the price but I would rather prefer uh, a discount. So the next fragrance is Orange Sanguine and this is like this bloody orange, very juicy, again, very, very nice, very orangey, very like sweet and orangey and beautiful and yummy fragrance. And this fragrance, it actually has uh, blood orange, bitter orange, blood mandarin, uh, African geranium, Egyptian jasmine, I don't feel, I don't smell this Egyptian jasmine, I don't uh, smell the, Magad the Madagascar pepper, sandalwood, amber, tonka bean and Texas cedar, I don't smell those at all. For me it's also again like a mono scent of blood orange. So we have this kind of uh, sweet, the sweet part of orange and then a bit bitter blood, uh, part of or orange. And this one is a very nice scent and I love it to bits, but uh, for 32 euros, I'm happy to have it. Uh, should I should I pay more than that? Uh, well, I probably, I wouldn't pay more than that because um, in my opinion, with the longevity, this fragrance has on my skin, 
not worth it not worth it and the last one which is actually a gift with purchase but i have uh, i was um, able to choose it myself this is a cladded brose and it has tuberose sandalwood and cardamom again for me it's a mono fragrance but well maybe the, the tuberose with um sandalwood and that's it and i'm a lover of a tuberose and I'm happy with this fragrance it's nice it's like like a tuberose should be um even though this fragrance it's is quite well it says that it's uh eau de parfum right mm, in my opinion it's the stain power is much better than of these fragrances normal fragrances but still the stain power is not like an eau de parfum should be uh, I want to say that the same power on me is like three hour stops like and uh, like one hour like one hour after the application I can actually still smell the fragrance and it's very active two hours after I kind of get just some whiffs of tuberose and but nothing extraordinary so the longevity of this fragrance isn't the best it's, it isn't the best but I repeat that for the price, that uh, for the smell, because the smell is beautiful and the smell of all these fragrances is very nice, very realistic, very nice, very yummy. It, they, they are as they should be, you know, if they say that it's blood uh, orange, then it's blood orange and you can feel it. So I'm I'm happy with the purchase, I'm happy with the price, I'm happy with, the, with these fragrances, so yeah. Um, let me uh, let me just show you again the fragrances that I was talking about. So this one and then um, this one and then we have a cheapy, cheapy but goody. This one, very nice, raspberry, like beautiful fragrance. So I have Hermes fragrance and also the three fragrances from um, Atelier Cologne these are the fragrances from Atelier Cologne yeah this is this is all and, and as you can see I have already started using the fragrances because I love them um, let me know if you like these fragrances let me know if you know these fragrances let me know if you would like me to tell you more about the fragrances in particular or if you would like me to make this kind of mini review of Atelier Cologne fragrances. I happen to know quite well uh, the biggest part of Atelier Cologne because I have um, I have had two sets of samples and I have had all the samples of all the fragrances they have and uh, I've been buying these fragrances for quite some time now so I'm a fan I'm not agreeing with the price policy because the prices are so high for the not for the quality but for the longevity of the fragrance um, but I kind of I like the juice I like the juice I'm not happy with how how long it lasts on me but the quality the how realistic it smells I'm a fan I'm a fan let me know if you would like me to make a separate video on Atelier Ballon and I thank you for your attention I wish you a beautiful Sunday and I'll see you on Wednesday bye